Well, there's loot, and I am who I am, so... It can't be helped. Now the question is, where are all my partners? go what are we doing here let's see um, uh, wow the ward stone legacy uh, show the cultist dispatch to the commander of the Crusader forces, I did that. Tower of what she found. Tower of S. S. Died. Where's the tower? To the basement. Area exit. Area exit. place has been sanctified it can protect the area around it from corruption of the abyss all right well let's go check out the basement I guess hey dragon <laughs> You got Stardew Valley for your Switch? Ah, uh, I like that game a lot. It's so nice and chill. It always makes me feel okay. All right. Well, let's, what, what's in the basement? Oh, we got... Light shield. Cool. Where's the... There we go. Got a little light shield action there. Alright. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep taking all this stuff until I can anymore. Uh-oh. Got you again. How many times is that today? Take your jokes and shove them, Tiefling. Whoa, easy there, Chief. Don't hit me. Just loot hoeing around. All right. Well, would you look at this person? The young tiefling sits cross-legged on the floor. He looks relatively calm for someone in shackles, but his tail whips back and forth in agitation. Noticing your attention, the tiefling sits up and beckons you over. Hey, chief. Hey, dreamboat. Come over here. I want to talk to you about something. Something really important. Quit bothering the decent people in here, Wolgif, or I'll knock your teeth out. What's it to you, Del Van Dum Dum? You were told to guard me, and I'm not stopping you. But no one told me I had to shut my trap. Well, who are you? Wolgif, Wolgif Jefto, I deal in useful things. I can get you whatever you want. Anything. But there's just one problem. The tiefling rattles his chains and gives you a meaningful look. Well, what do you want from me? I'll lay it out. Simple job. 30 minutes tops. We go someplace, talk to someone, and in return, whatever you want, I'll get it for you. 
Some extra rations? No problem. Armor, weapons, scrolls, you name it. It's as good as yours. If you need my help with something, whistle and I'll be there. I'm handy enough with knives too, and even my magic know-how isn't too shabby. Bokey dokey. Haha, <laughs> what a load of guff. If you were good at magic, you wouldn't be stuck here now, would ya? Don't you listen to him. Chief, he'd find fault with the queen herself. I'll be useful to have in battle, and I'll sell whatever you want at a reasonable price. It's your lucky day. You won't meet another gem like me in Kinneras. Why are you in chains? Does it really matter? Don't get hung up on the past, Chief. Don't look to the, don't look to the future. Live in the here and now. Uh, he was caught thieving. Uh, your shadow. What was that? The Thief of the Greens laughs. Get me out of here and I'll tell you. And don't worry. It's not contagious. I can't help you while you're chained up here. How can I free you? That's easy. You know Erebeth. Feisty looking gal. Always wears armor. You, can, you can't miss her. She's the meanest fighter in the whole city. When you see her, put in a good word for me, will you? Tell her there's this guy, Wolgif, locked up for no good reason in the Defender's heart. Well, for the follies of his youth, and he really wants to get out to Umbel. So he can keep up his good behavior and make a contribution to society. Got that? Will you do it? Um, I need to think about it. Wolgif's tail bats the floor and agitates him. Well, think fast. I'm already losing feeling in my legs sitting here. Well, um... I guess I'll talk to Erebeth. I knew I could count on you. Knew it the moment I laid eyes on you. Well, we'll talk later. Okay. Hmm. All right. Me and my irresistible loot hobo ness. If it's loot, I gotta take it. If it's loot, I gotta take it. I I have a I have a severe problem here. What did I do there? What is all that? Alright, do those switches just not really do anything? Just make noise? <laughs> Seems kind of weird to have switches. Alright, let's go outside. Let's go figure out where we're going. We gotta go somewhere. Got to do something with her life. Area exit. How are we encumbered? I'm not encumbered. But the group is over encumbered. Makes no sense. Well, this is my current group. Accept it. Let's go. Land, the mongrel is a curious sight. Even the distorted land of the world wound. A descendant of the first... Oh, global map. Okay. Uh, not able to go there. Move WASD, left mouse button. Now, what was our journals? Let's see. Well, it looks like we only have one place to go. 
I thought there were several places we were supposed to go. Check out. Let's see. Uh. If he is still alive somewhere in the ruins of Kinnabras, he must be found at all costs. The story. Oh, I gotta talk to Stout. Is he back? Dang it. Was he back there? Was he still in the Defender's Heart? I can't. I should pay closer attention to what the heck I'm doing instead of being a dumbass. Yeah, I'm a dumbass. That's alright. Oh, look. Loot. Don't mind me. Just gonna be hoboing around for a little bit. Alright, alright, alright. I don't see him. Okay. There's, there's land. Go talk to land for a second. Why I look for uh what do you think about the life on the par uh, service? Uh, of course, as far as living conditions, the service is uh, definitely a better place to be. It's easy to uh, get good food and water, not to mention build a house and even grow a few things. In old or well-established settlements, you don't have to deal with anything scarier than rats or maybe foxes stealing chickens. As for the kind of lives you have, I, I heard a story about demon worshippers abducting a whole family and sacrificing them one by one while the others watched. But there were some brave crusader knights nearby and they killed the villains and saved everyone. Well, that's what good crusaders do, right? They... And I heard another story. A young blacksmith lost his arm in a fire, couldn't work to feed his wife and baby. They tried their best and lived from hand to mouth, but they were still destitute. In the end, the desperate blacksmith robbed a traveler one night on the road, but there were some brave crusader knights nearby and they caught the robber and threw him in prison. Not long after, his wife smothered the baby and hanged herself. Land, that's depressing. Stop that. Nobody wants to hear that. Up here, the same person can probably say he's protecting the innocent from demons and then look the other way while the same innocent starves just because they were born into a poor family. Queen Galfrey prolongs her life with sun orchid elixirs that cost enough to feed an entire city. Back in our caves, everyone is equally poor, and if one person starves, the whole tribe starves. We don't abandon our own in times of trouble. That's the power of a tribe. The laws of the surface are made so that some get everything and others get nothing. I might just be a naive fool from the caves, but I don't understand how it's possible to have so much more and share so much less. Well, you see when you have one person who rules over everything and there is no democracy and, and even even in today's society the United States isn't a democracy it's a republic with democratic leanings but anyways I could get into it land but right now I'm, I'm just trying to find a dwarf just trying to find a dwarf uh, well, I would never leave a needy person in trouble. I've been given more than most, which means I'm now more able to help others. Uh, I'd like to know more about you. Thank you for the answer. So long. Bye, Lan. Bye, bye, Lan. Okay, remember not to talk to party member. Is he not in here? Did, 
Is is he Let not? Just be careful. See. Where's Stoughton? 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 Has anybody seen Stoughton? Stoughton? Norton? Hey, Arabeth. There's a tiefling chained up in in the defender's heart. What can you tell me about him? Wolgif is a pr petty thief from a gang of tieflings operating in Kinnebrass. That's what we call them in these parts. They tried to rob a vendor of magical items recently. Unfortunately, we apprehended only one of them, and the rest managed to escape. We have nowhere else to keep him apart from the defender's heart. But that's hardly a prison. Wolgif knows it too. He's been begging us for days to let him go free or have someone vouch for him. He's already asked you to put in a good word for him, hasn't he? Irabeth squints at you thoughtfully, then shrugs. If you want to recruit Wolgif and put him into good use, go ahead and take him off our guard's hands. We can ill afford to let soldiers spend their days watching over a middling thief. I hope the tiefling proves useful should you decide to take him along. Alright. I have to go. In dialogue. Alright. Does anybody know where Stoughton is? Is he in, in the... I thought he would have been in here, but uh, I'm not seeing him. Is there an upstairs? No. Crusaders. No. Anybody? Bueller. 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 Who are you? I am in, in well-worn traveling clothes and simple wooden symbol of Aristil on his chest is efficiently cutting a linen robe into strips to use, but despite his visible exhaustion he works with zeal singing some tune about red braids and ripe sheaves of wheat under his breath. He raises his warm chestnut colored eyes to you are you one of the Crusaders? Thank you for defending those of us whose talents lie off the battlefield. I'm Jagna, servant of Aristel. Pleased to meet you. What are you doing? I only took my holy order recently, so my God has only bestowed a little of his power upon me as of yet. I'm sorry to say that the number of wounded fighters in this tavern is far beyond my power to heal, but there's reason people say have faith in gods but look to yourself first i may not be able to help the wounded with magic but i can at least cut up bandages i could use help of a cleric <laughs> makes help aristotle knows i'd be glad to help you but it's no use my spells are depleted and i have no training in potions or scrolls see this robe i'm cutting up for bandages it's the second to last one Ah, uh, well then, I have to go. It was a pleasure to meet you. It's a pity we can't stop, uh, can't stop and talk over a cup of tea. Or maybe something stronger, but this isn't the time. Do you know what's funny? I was only supposed to be making a short stop in Kinnebras. I was sailing down Old Mansellen on a boat bound for a small village by the name of Chili Creek. Well, I'm sorry you... Chili Creek has been revealed. There you go. Well, there you go. Stoughton. Stoughton. You're getting on my nerves. All right. Now, I don't even know where Stoughton is, which means... I cannot find him. All right, he's not in here. St 
down our yacht here somewhere. Yarn vine. Show me your wares. A grizzled dwarf turns his blade in his calloused hands, carefully inspecting its a edge. When he sees you approaching, he sets the blade aside and greets you with a nod. A new face in the city. You picked a good time to come to Kenebras. As you can see, we're in a sore need of warriors. Show me your wares. Okay. More stuff I don't need. Dart. Light hammer. Okay. There we go. Deal. Anything interesting? Acid sickle. Wow. Plus one bastard sword. Butcher of Undead. Nice. Uh, descending order. Two of armor class. Armor of Vigilance. Light shield plus one. Huh. Interesting stuff. Okay. God, I've got to do something. Where's Stanton? Okay. Let me guess. I can't find him now. All right. Let's see. All right. I guess we're just going to. Oh, wait a minute. Let's go get the thief. Really? I thought so. I thought I got it all. Yeah. That's what I thought. Boink. I'll go ahead. I talked to Irabeth and I've decided to make you part of my troop. We'll see how it goes. Leaps to his feet and gleefully rubs his hands. Ha! You must be a smooth talker. Come on, Delvin. Get these bracelets of yours off me. I'm going free. Uh, you sure to regret this. This tiefling will fleece you for everything you've got. Mark my words. I don't know. I kind of believe him. You're a bitter little man, Delvin. Petty and mean. You can't even be happy for me, can you? I pity you. I leave you alone with your sad little soul. So long. Wolgif is freed from his shackles and rubs his chafed wrists. And now, chief, straight down to business. He glances around, making sure that no one is listening in. You see, one of those guys that people around here call thieflings, we just call ourselves the family. After we knocked over the shop and I got stuck here in the defender's heart, a little bird told me that big sister Karismai wanted to see me, that she had some questions to ask me. You following? Now, she won't be asking me questions like, how'd you manage to get out of this one? Or, well, Jeff, you're so thin. Didn't they feed you? No, something serious has gone down, and I just know they want to try to pin something on me. I can feel it in my tail. So I knew right away that I couldn't go alone. You turned up just in time, Chief. You don't need to, to do anything. When we get there, just stand behind me and look mean. And I'll handle the rest somehow. Let's go. I'll show you the way. Thieflings, thieflings hideout. Been revealed. Okay. Well. Yeah.